when you just hear a certain thing, oh, I know that tune, but when you actually sit down, put these headphones on, and listen, it gives you a whole new meaning. Yeah, analyze the lyrics. I don't know how I'm gonna get across. Oh, I'm gonna get my, look, my trousers are getting dirty. Yeah, dirty look at the state of my feet, I've gotta try and get over there. <laughs> Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting and thinking like who knew I know that you've seen us on rappers react They talking about us on YouTube Hollywood sticks it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React Smoke Yeah Diggity Yeah You've been asking for some 70s wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. You ready for this one? Yeah, I'm ready. Who? Can, tell me anything about Bruno San Martino? Bruno San Martino. You don't know about Bruno? No, I don't know about Bruno. Oh, man. I've been was... told I look like Bruno Mars, but I don't know about this Bruno. <laughs> Italian guy. He was the uh, world's champion. Um, one of the first, uh, actually the second WWWF champion ever. He was. Who was the first? Uh, it was Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. Okay. And he actually took it from him, too. And uh, Buddy Rogers wasn't a real tough guy. Bruno was. So when it came down to the match, uh, Buddy didn't want to give it up. And Bruno took it from him. Like, literally? Physically? Yeah, yeah. Because he was a, a dude that could do that. But, yeah, yeah. Um, you know the, his finisher? Uh, not really. Like, like I said, you know, a lot of times they didn't have... I know that Buddy Rogers had the figure four, but a lot of times they didn't... Like, they would do just creative finishes, Finisher. you know. Not really... It didn't have to be a super finisher every right. time, you know. Dog. Yeah. Y'all, Smokey's thinking about starting a wrestling podcast. If y'all are interested, <laughs> yeah, leave it in the comments. Anybody want to talk wrestling, let me know. He's the guy. Um. All right. So, during Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you have your turkey, your stuffing, and then you have... Blank sauce. Uh, cranberry. All right. God dang it. That's the name of the band. All right. <laughs> <The> cranberries. <laughs> if, if you're dead and you're still walking around, you're what? Zombie. <laughs> Yo, right guys, my friend. guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up, guys. Please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. Because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you. Right down in the comment section, just like this one. Yes. And today, cranberries. The cranberries. Man. Now, if y'all familiar with rappers react, shout out to all the trash talkers out there. Y'all know I try to trivia Smokey on the name of the song. Yeah. My <laughs> brain just went straight to the to the band, which easily yeah, gave, you it gave away. that one away easily. Um, <laughs> but no. Um, if I'm not mistaken, y'all don't crucify me on this, but I think the lead singer passed not too long ago rest in peace dolores yeah 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 did she yeah, you know yeah um uh, you know this song here um she's by, an irish lady by the way by the way one of my most favorite songs of all time sorry to interrupt go ahead. yeah but um so there was this other band named bad wolves that were going to do a cover of this song right here and the day she was going to be a feature on the song i guess she was going to do the hook or whatever is that the new one I've been hearing lately? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The new. Dude, yeah, that'd zombie. Been dope yeah. if she was on the hook. Or on yeah, the song. and she would have been, but she died right before the the recording date. Damn, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. How did she pass? Do you know? I don't recall right offhand. Either way, she left some amazing music. Yeah. And I will say this is one of my... Okay, this is what we've been doing lately. Smokey started it off with Stairway to Heaven. He's like, mm -hmm. bro... All these songs, everybody knows this song. Yes. Everybody. Yeah. But we get to sit down and analyze. Yes. Because everyone knows that you hear it in past. Your grandmama, you know it. Your granddaddy, know it. The little baby, <laughs> yeah. you know it. Cousins, aunts. Everybody's heard it. Everybody. Yeah. So when you just hear a certain thing. Oh, I know that tune. But when you actually sit down, put these headphones on, and listen, it gives you a whole new meaning. Yeah. Analyze the lyrics. That's the thing. Because we've heard all these songs for how many years and you never really take the time to figure out what is this song about right you know you hear zombie you, the first thought is okay talking about zombies some cool sci-fi or you know some horror thing mm -hmm. but i don't think that's what this song is about so, that's crazy because this being one of my favorite songs i think that's exactly what this song is about yeah yeah okay 
I think it's about. See now we I haven't sat down and analyzed it with my dog here, uh-huh. but I think it's just about being a walking nobody. Just like hey, I'm you're walking around life as if you're a zombie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we we'll, we we really need to get into the lyrics, but I think it goes deeper than that. If you really listen, but uh, then again, that's what we're doing that's right what now. We're so. here for small dog. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. Before we get started, uh huh. I just want to point out. This song has a billion well views. That's why everybody's heard it. <laughs> Jesus. You ever watched the video for it? Never. Yeah. You? No. Dude, I love this song. God. That zombie real. Ooh. Never even seen what she looked like. Yeah. No, dude. Her voice. I think I know what it's about now. Okay. This is my favorite part. Oh, <laughs> Line. That is chunky, man. She plays too? Yeah. I never knew that was her playing on the song. Right. I feel like you're about to say something. Yeah, <laughs> you paused it. So, the kids are holding guns. Yeah. And she's talking about when this when the violence causes silence. Yeah. I th- do. Do we do this at the end of the video? It's up to you. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Since 1916, in your head, in your head, they're still fighting with their tanks and their bombs and their <laughs> bombs. <laughs> And their guns in your head, in your head, they are dying in your head, in your head, zombie, 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 what's in your head? 
bass line, man. Oh, it's amazing. You think this is filmed in like Ireland or Scotland somewhere? I think so. Yeah. Judging from the the, the tank. Mills, yeah. Man. Beautiful song. Mm. When the violence causes silence. silence. Dude. <laughs> this is so iconic, man. What an amazing just work of art. Man. Some people are just... I know, it's, it's hard to comment on something like this when you've... We know this song. But the second I, I put visuals uh-huh. with what she was saying... Yeah, it I'm makes like, sense. It's about war, basically. It is. Damn. I think the zombies... If she's talking about raising the kids up in a war time or a war... Um, Environment. Complex. Right. Yes, yes. And... They're just being indoctrinated the whole time, just to grow up Damn. and support. fight for your country. Yes, exactly. Wow. And those are the zombies. They're being taught to not question, just follow and do as you're told, and go fight the wars for us. Man, yeah, dude. That that I was trying to connect the zombie thing. Like, what does the zombie mean? But the zom- you, yeah, the, the mindless kids, kids, kids being that, raised yeah. up just to do as they see. They become and like robots, even you know, more than just zombies, like robots to just do what you're told. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, it makes me wonder. Like, I don't know that much about. Uh, even though we're both Irish, I really don't know much about uh, Irish history. Right. And she said it's the same old. Thing since, since 1916. 1916. That's what I'm looking up like, right now. What war has been going on since 1916? Um, man, is it? I mean, I know the is see, the um the, you, the freedom from uh, Great Britain. Yeah, between uh, North uh, North Ireland and South Ireland. Right. So I'm not gonna Google that because the trash talkers are gonna let us know. Yeah, man. First of all, we respect all the troops thank you guys so much mm-hmm. for everything you do you guys are amazing standing up for this country yes. keep doing what you do yes but when you see a different side of it you know yeah. what I'm talking about? this oh, is yeah. she's showing you like okay we're adults you know we're doing we're fighting for our country great stand up for what you believe in yeah but are you looking at the children that are watching you do this yeah especially in 1916 <laughs> yeah i mean luckily being in the united states again thanks to our soldiers are we don't there hasn't has there been a war other than a civil war that's been fought on u.s soil no um attacks but not an not a war. war yeah see we're we're privileged be, because the kids growing up here they don't see that yeah exactly but you'll see yeah. a kid over like in you know in the yeah, middle east in many countries you know this war-torn area where these kids you know we grew up you know we had to go to the playgrounds and run around the neighborhoods and never had to worry about it but think about the kids that are growing up around these buildings Tanks. that are blown up and having to see soldiers roll through every day man that's crazy it's crazy to think about and what would you what kind of person would you be? grow up to be yeah you might just be a right. zombie you by know, the time you're, you're right you know what i just thought about man and i don't know if this like okay like Dagestan, Russia. Russia's been through a lot, you yeah, know? Yeah. And some of the greatest fighters come from Russia. They just have that yeah, killer course, instinct. Yeah. Do yeah. you think that has something to do with it? Like, yeah, absolutely. That's so crazy. I mean, if you grow up in a harsh environment, you're going to become hard. It's tougher. Yeah. Man, rest in peace, Dolores. See what I mean? This is when we say we like to sit here and analyze music that we've heard. Yeah. Who knew this would bring on a great conversation like this? Yeah, dude? exactly. Exactly. Jesus. It's so fun to go back, especially to go back through these songs because, you know, you're not really getting our first time reaction, but you're getting our first time we've ever analyzed, uh, analyzed it. Sorry. Right. Correct. Don't don't yeah. look at us as your typical reactors. Look at us as your music <laughs> analysis. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Words are hard. Absolutely. Words are hard. <laughs> Guys, with uh, 90% of the Trash Talkers, they haven't hit the subscribe button, so please, y'all, do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. Also, if you want to follow us on Facebook, our link is in the description. Smokey has a football podcast, and that link will be in the description as well. Go check that out. With that being said, my name's Barrett of Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry, Smokey, Ramirez, Cowan. And we are over. And out deuces i want to thank you guys for tuning in to rappers react today if you want to see another artist that we covered it's right over here if you want to see the last video we did it's right over here thank you guys for tuning in we do this for you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one deuces